Boy, it's time to break it down. Grab a mic, kill the stage. Yeah, second nature now. Mama said I make a flare. I told her I made a vow. Just to wait around in the year, I'll put her in a house. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Nightwing2303 from kickstoncore.com. Today we have part 9 of the Air Jordan Project, which is the performance review on the Air Jordan 9. So without wasting any more of your time, let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright guys, so just real quick, I'm going to be doing this performance review a little bit different. Usually I sit in a chair, uh, like on, on this side over here, so that I can just kind of relax and uh, talk about the shoe. But because this camera is so sensitive to light, um, I had recorded this video earlier and when I went to go uh, watch it to like do the editing and everything, I needed sunglasses again because there's this white outsole was just glowing like crazy so I'm gonna be sitting on this side that way I can actually see what's going on back here um, and hopefully this works out so if you guys like this setup let me know if you don't let me know um, just you know shoot me some feedback and it'd be greatly appreciated so with that being said now let's go ahead and get right into it basically on the traction right here you have a smooth surface this is something that we've all gotten used to by now, uh, seeing these on the past Air Jordans, like the Air Jordans uh, 7 and 8, um, the 6 had it, and even some of the earlier models, like the 2 and 3, um, all had a flat surface sole, so no herringbone or weird kind of like storytelling patterns and things like that. Um, the traction here worked perfectly fine. I don't have any issues with it whatsoever. If you do ever have an issue with an outsole like this um, on an indoor court, one thing to make sure is to try to make sure that that floor is clean. Um, second thing is, is that if it's still giving you issues, just take the shoes outside, scuff them up on the floor a little bit, like on concrete, and it'll give you some texture there. That way when you go back inside to the hardwood, um, it, the abrasions will help like kind of grip the, the court a little bit better than, than what they come with now. Um, these do have uh, texture on them. But once that does wear away, you could have a slicker surface than what you originally played in. So that's just a small tip. And um, other than that, like I said, the traction was perfectly fine. I didn't have any issues with it whatsoever. Um, something that's kind of cool is that it's shaped like your foot. So that's your toe. This is the ball of your foot. These are the outside, the rest of your toes, and things like that. So um, back then in 1994, like this was uh, kind of interesting to have I guess because that's you know you got all those flex grooves there real natural kind of motion and even though it's a polyurethane midsole you could still flex that pretty easily um, which is nice and that does help out with the traction so no matter what direction you were going starting stopping curling whatever it is um, this traction surface does have you covered so the cushion on the Air Jordan 9 is just like the Air Jordan 8 basically you have a encapsulated air sole in the heel and then you also have an encapsulated air sole in the forefoot um, this polyurethane, it looks and feels very dense. Um, it also feels horrible when you're wearing them casually. Like, it's definitely not the most comfortable Air Jordan model. Um, however, once you start running in it, this actually has a little bit of bounce to it, which is kind of nice. Um, especially since the air soles are not directly underneath your foot. They are encapsulated, so your foot is going to be resting on polyurethane and not air. So, um, overall though, when you're running around, the heel definitely you can feel it, you have a good amount of absorption and impact upon heel strikes and then while you transition into the forefoot area the cushion's very minimal, um, if any you know, the, whatever air sole is in there is probably super thin and it's probably not giving you much um, as far as cushion goes however, that court feel that you get out of it is pretty damn good and um, you can't really beat that so as a guard you kinda want court feel, you wanna have your your feet be able to feel that ground underneath you. Uh, you don't want to feel like you're in a platform, which is kind of how I feel whenever I wear like a Hyperdunk. Um, not the new Hyperdunks, like the previous ones, like the 2011s and 2010s. I always felt like I was, I was on a stage, plus having the floor underneath me. Where this guy right here, you kind of feel like you're right there on the on the ground. So, a little bit more natural uh, feeling and range of motion in that sense. So, overall though, cushion's good. Um, you can probably see like this area here, all these bubbles, um, that's just from compression and uh, flex and all that stuff so you know that it's doing some of its job um, of course it's not as good as something that's made out of phylon but you know that's that's something that we actually get to experience next 
So the materials and fit, um, that's pretty much where I have my major discrepancies with this shoe. Uh, I feel like the materials are just awful. Um, you know, you have this like polyurethane coated leather, which I don't know how well you're going to see this because I'm pretty sure that this is coming up super bright. But um, it's just not the best. It's not the best leather, and it's something that we've used previously on like the Air Journal One. However, the Air Journal One also had um, uh, they had overlays, so like the entire structure was a little bit more sturdy, I would say, when you're wearing these. Whereas with these guys here, I, I literally felt like this shoe like was just going to just break apart at the seams upon certain movements. So um, one of the factors to that is that the interior boot and then this really cheap kind of thin overlay here, uh, they just cannot support really much of any weight um, or torque. And they also don't move well together either like this and these out here, they move completely independent when your foot is in there. So this part right here sticks with your foot and then the rest of it doesn't. So whatever you're doing, the shoe is actually doing the opposite and it's it's a really awkward feeling it's something that you get with older shoes like this or older, older styles um, but that's something that I would actually expect from a Chuck Taylor not from an Air Jordan so um, as far as fit is concerned um, and the materials you know this is probably probably the worst uh, that I've actually experienced from 1 through 9 the Air Jordan 1 was actually 10 times better than what this guy offers you as far as support and fit um, they also have a lot of chafing inside because the in interiors are real kind of snug and narrow and then you got all these uh, stitch points where they overlay on the stitching here so this ended up ripping a hole in my foot and that was very awesome to try to recover from um, and then uh, the, the the entire thing just didn't hold up so you know it's not the best model um, they made these when he was retired so it's a it's an interesting shoe. Um, it was still fun to play them, but you know, like I said, the materials and the fit not very good. Heel lockdown was actually pretty decent, but um, other than that, it was just a I would say below average as far as the overall material and especially the overall fit is concerned. One more thing to add, um, I actually did add this on my website uh, before when I wrote about these, but um, uh, the the sizing is kind of weird. Like these are a size nine and they are a little bit snug and then the size nine and a half is great um, I do have a size nine and a half however they are with a uh, the charcoals and so it's all like softer material up here which is not going to do any good for me if I play in the softer material if this already can't keep up with my weight and um, uh, pressure and all that stuff so that's why I did not use a size nine and a half but I would recommend going up at least a half a size on these guys uh, to avoid any more pinching or chafing as far as ventilation is concerned, um, this is very simple. Basically, the only ventilation that you're receiving is from the tongue right here. It's that inner sleeve. So it goes all the way down. And while it allows airflow and heat and moisture to escape from this section here through the center, the rest of the shoe is not perforated whatsoever. It's got those little diamond patterns with the fake perforations in there. They're not punctured all the way through and um, even if they were those those holes are so tiny that they're not going to do anything so ventilation in this shoe kind of sucks um, that would also go back to the whole material section where the materials they like literally felt like they were going to crumble like while my foot was in there uh, doing maneuvers and things like that so um, it probably lessened the uh, the strength of the overall material with sweat and heat and all that stuff which definitely isn't a good combination for something like this um, whereas it would be something beneficial to like a newer style, which is something like this. So it actually did uh, wonders for like a really like hard and, and non-pliable uh, upper material versus something like this where it's like real soft and all that stuff. As far as support is concerned, um, as we all know with an earlier Air Jordan, the only real support that you're getting is from the molded arch here, which it does have, so that's great. Um, however, the rest of the support would be coming from the material and the fit, which this one sucks at. So, um, support in this shoe is not very good. Like like I showed you earlier, like this stuff just, you know what I mean? Everything's real soft, and, um, you know, the upper feels good on your feet, but it's just not supportive. Um, and then the midsole is, like, not super cushioned unless you're actually running around in them. So, um, yeah, support on these guys right here is definitely not the best. This is probably the worst. 
um, of the early model Air Jordans that I've played in. Um, you know, and that's not anything against the shoe itself. I'm pretty sure maybe like Tinker Hatfield, if he were by chance to ever watch a video of mine, which would be totally awesome, um, he'd probably agree that like this model here is probably greatly lacking as far as on-court performance goes. So, you know, that's not, that's not to hate on a shoe because some people actually misinterpret what a review is or a performance review. Um, this is to see if certain models are actually playable. The Air Jordan 9 just happens not to be. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty much takes care of, uh, the entire thing. So there we go. All right, guys. So that pretty much takes care of the review on the Air Jordan 9. Again, this is probably not the best Encore option, um, out of all the retros. Honestly, out of all the retros so far, the early models from 1 through 9, I'd probably go with the Air Jordan uh, 8. The Air Jordan 7 was a good one. And then if you want to go really early, the Air Jordan 4 and even the Air Jordan 3. Um, only problem with those two is the cushion. But, um, you know, everything else was pretty much good to go. The fit on the 4 was superb. The traction on the 3 was great. And um, the Air Jordan 7 and Air Jordan 8 were just pretty much overall decent models. This guy right here fell short. So, the one good thing about being done with the Air Jordan 9 is that I'm finally done with all of these polyurethane models and now I get to go on to the fun stuff. Like the Air Jordan 10, which is something I'm really, really excited for. But most importantly, I'm almost at the Air Jordan 11, which is I'm pretty sure what everybody's waiting for. So, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned to my site, Kicks on Court, for all of your performance needs. And until next time, guys, have a good one. Anything is possible, and boy, I think I'm proving it. People looking up to me, I'm really kind of new to this. Yeah, they looking up to me, I'm really kind of new to this.